Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to CES. Thank you so much for joining us here today. So today, I'm pleased to be here to announce that we are launching six new ninth generation core desktop processors from Core i3 all the way up to Core i9. We'll also be bringing ninth generation core processors to our mobile family, our H series line, just next quarter in Q2, bringing that same high level of performance uh, for gamers, content creators, productivity to our mobile H series line. So stay tuned for that. We're very, very excited. So for the first time anywhere in public today, I'm going to demonstrate and we're going to show our Ice Lake first volume 10 nanometer client SOC. This is, this is it right here. This is Ice Lake in my hand. This is way more than just the CPU, and it's packed with a bunch of firsts. So to show that off a little bit, I wanted Chuck to come out and show us Ike Lace in action. We've written a little script here. I'm going to go ahead and, and enter on both of these. Now, this script is going to go through. It's going to look at all those hundreds of photos that I have on each system. And you're going to see it's going to look through all those systems I've put in a category of water. So it's going to find all those pictures I have that have water. And you're going to see with each of these systems, even though I have a Core i7 8th gen CPU here, when I bring in the advantages of Ice Lake, it's going to happen and go through those pictures much, much faster. And right. You're going to see actually, in this case, a 1.5x improvement when I go through and look for pictures with water. That's right. That's right. Before in the past, when you had a system this thin, this light, you had to sacrifice something. It usually was that CPU performance and GPU performance. But now with Ice Lake, you're not sacrificing nothing. So we've also got Thunderbolt on this one system. So you see one cable. I've got a cable here so you can hear the game. But I got one cable going to a monitor, keyboard, mouse, and external storage. And yet I still have that tremendous Gen 11 graphics performance to make this type of gaming solution all in one simple solution. So now you got to take a breath because we did that really fast. You showed Ice Lake in the form factor, great CPU, graphics. AI workload acceleration, gaming, and Thunderbolt 3 integration all in that package. Exactly. Awesome. I'm going to get a little bit geeky for a minute, so bear with me. Um, but at the same time, I think you'll appreciate how some of these new technical innovations are helping us bring new value to our partners and to end users at the same time. So what I'm going to talk about now for the first time anywhere is one of the first products that takes advantage of that architecture and innovation, and that is codenamed Lakefield. I'm going to show you a little animation on how Lakefield was put together. We took a new approach that's allowing us to integrate different CPU core architectures into a single product, and we call that a hybrid CPU. So what you're looking at in this animation is a processor that has five cores. It has a 10 nanometer high performance Sunny Cove core, and it's combined with four atom based cores so you get low power efficiency. Immersive graphics, I.O. memory, all in this tiny SOC, which is approximately 12 millimeters squared. We're pairing this hybrid CPU architecture with an innovative 3D packaging approach that we call Foveros, where we're able to actually stack different pieces of IP together in three dimensions instead of just two. So that SOC is now packed with all the technology in 3D that people come to expect. Drives longer battery life, performance, connectivity. We can do smaller chips, smaller boards, more efficient, better designs. It's going to unleash some great performance, some great platform innovation in the industry, and in even more innovative devices. So we're not ta talking about just a minor decrease in size. I wanted to show you the Lakefield board that we built inside of Intel. You know, here it is. This is Lakefield on a reference board that we have done in-house. This is our smallest full PC motherboard. I'm super excited to show you exactly how far we've come with these um, Lakefield boards. And here you can see I've got a smaller system. I've got a video up and running. I've also got the display monitor running, so you can see that heterogeneous com um, computing display working up there. And I've also got a little larger form factor here. I've got a movie playing, full desktop OS experience, looking fantastic. You know, we wanted to go even beyond and show you Lakefield working in systems today that it's possible of scaling down to very, very low standby power and small designs as he's got there, but also scaling up in performance to kind of full PC experience. I'm happy to announce that we, at the tail end of 2018, began shipping our next generation Xeon, codenamed Cascade Lakes. Cascade Lakes is designed to handle processing the world's data. Today, I'm excited to talk about a way in which we're expanding our collaboration with Alibaba. Uh, we caught up with Alibaba's chief marketing officer, Chris Tung, 
uh, just a couple of days ago at their headquarters in Hangzhou, and I'll let him tell you a little bit about it. Alibaba and Intel are both worldwide partners of the Olympics, and I'm happy to announce our next collaboration that will take us there. Alibaba Cloud and Intel will deliver the first ever AI-powered 3D athlete tracking during the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo. This groundbreaking technology will provide fans with more compelling insights into how world-class athletes perform and compare to one another. We are very proud to work with Intel to reimagine the future of the Olympics. We've developed a novel technology concept called 3D athlete tracking. Unlike the way this is done today, there's no special suits, there's no special sensors here. What we're doing is taking the data from regular cameras, uh, we're, we're applying an AI algorithm, a bunch of compute power, and what you end up with is a super accurate digital model of the athlete's performance. And you can imagine that you can analyze that information in many different ways. We've been uh, working, working with some great uh, Intel engineers to see just what Xeon processors could do for Wrench AI. Here are two systems running Wrench AI. So both systems are now tracking the human movement in the video, on the exact same video. With our current solution on a GPU, we're inferencing around 90 frames a second. But on the Cascade Lake uh, platform, optimized with Intel DL Boost, we're inferencing at 450 frames, which just blows my mind. And so today, we're announcing that we are expanding our decade-long uh, investments in network infrastructure with a new network SOC codenamed Snow Ridge that is being developed specifically for 5G wireless access. And what you see on the animation on the screen is a simulation of the traffic being generated by this machine. It's now being flown, it's, it's flowing through Snow Ridge on this machine. What Snow Ridge is able to do is it's able to differentiate between these different applications and prioritize the application that is most latency sensitive. In this case, the remote surgery application literally could mean the difference between life and death in terms of the responsiveness uh, for that application. You can see that it's running at 100 gigabits of traffic, uh, and it's able to prioritize that remote surgery application over the others. This example, for example, imagine a world where a surgeon and a patient could be in a different location and the surgeon could use a remote robot that mimics his hand gestures to instantaneously operate on a patient in a different location. Uh, I'm going to show you another product now on 10 nanometer, uh, our Ice Lake server silicon that follows Cascade Lake. Uh, this is the first time we've demonstrated this publicly. And what you can see here is that we are running a uh, machine learning simulation with Ziva Dynamics software and we're using it to create this character, Zeke the Lion. On the left, what you can see is a machine learning simulation that's running on that Ice Lake server. And this is the model that's being used to create this character, Zeke. And on the right, what you can see is the Ziva software is then creating Zeke layer by layer, from the bones to the muscles to the skin, and then finally adding the fur. And you can see how the end result is incredibly lifelike. So we're very excited about Ice Lake coming to the market in 2020, the follow-on to Cascade Lake. In sum, what you've seen over the course of this presentation today is we've demonstrated for you four products running on our latest 10 nanometer process technology. Ice Lake Client, Lakefield Client, Snow Ridge for the data center, and Ice Lake for the data center. All having, having in common the 10 nanometer process technology.